So today is January 18th, if I'm not mistaken. And we are heading to a meeting with Lisandra. She's the person that it's, we are joining forces or efforts to try to help a bunch of people out there that still without any grid energy. And today I think we have a meeting, including the mayor of Dorado, I'm not that sure. And also we have a meeting with a brigade that just got here yesterday from the United States. And they're gonna help us uh, build a house. Let's go there. So now we are getting to the Tuabaja project house that we did the other day and we get to talk to them and see how they're doing. Hey, that's my friend right there. And also we are going to try to find out that everything is more than okay. Uh, ¿Quién vino por ahí a ayudar? ¡Ay! 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 Yo dije, yo no sé, yo sé que llegó un muchacho aquí, yo no sé. She's so happy. Qué God bueno. bless all of you. Ya lo está pagado. No, porque yo no, 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 quiero ahorrar la luz ahora. Ya, ahora quiero ahorrar luz. Verá, eso no te lo van a cobrar. Para ponerla, neverita. Vamos a ponerla. Conmigo. Sí, vamos a ponerla. So ya tiene nevera, ya está feliz. Tiene estufa nueva. Tengo cajones para recoger la compra, todo. A los mosquitos. Para los mosquitos ya me estoy poniendo a, a, al nivel ya de, de mis cosas. Qué bueno. Que el Señor me ha recuperado. Como yo siempre decía, el tiempo es de uno. Pero el que manda es aquel. Es correcto. Y no te cuentas con él porque sabe que si te cuentas there you go guys, finally we got the fridge uh, that Lisandra got to the Kuka and she's really happy, right? I'm happy. She's happy. And I came here to check out the system. Everything's working really good and now we're going to talk to the guys that it's actually, they're checking on the house and see the, the equipment that's uh, materials they need and stuff like that. I don't know what they ask, so I'm just looking around. So she's happy and I'm happy. saw her face I think I, I was um, so I was trying to record her she was actually telling someone oh, a guy came in and helped us with the lights and stuff like that and when I saw I heard you know she was talking about that about me and when I said who are you talking about was she was like oh my god I, I don't know if you guys saw that but that's why I'm recording this just in case I need to explain everything but it's amazing feeling to you know, to be able to see someone uh, and we install the fridge and everything. She's so happy. And, you know, we you, you saw the conditions they leave and she's still so happy, so grateful. She was telling me that she didn't have anything. Everything was took from them because of this hurricane. And she has more than enough and she's so happy. That's how amazing it is uh, being in Puerto Rico. We, we care for each other, we truly do. So now we're going to the other house, the one that we are actually going to, I think it's built. Uh, I'll see you there. So I am standing inside of what it used to be a house. Now this, yeah, you 
house uh, yeah, yeah, above your house then. Is there somebody here? No. no. Oh, I'm not just talking about it. Is there a family of children here? Oh, obviously there's toys. Well, this house, you know, people tell you one story and then you start finding a story and story and yeah. story and they tell you one thing. The house is, um, the person that lives here with the kid, they're going to move out to the States. Yeah. So the sister that lived with them and the husband and she lost her baby during this situation, she was in pregnant. She's going to try to fix this place to have a place to live because she doesn't have a place to live anymore. Um, because she also lived in a little hut that doesn't exist. Um, so this was her, her, her location. This was her place. Todas las áreas de todo dorado, las limpias y todo eso, aquí nunca hacen nada. No hay un parquecito, no hay nada. Ah, para los efectos ustedes no existen. Exacto. Este es el lado negro de, de, de dorado. dorado. Y son 63 familias. 65. 65 familias. Estamos hablando de 120 y pico, 150 personas. Lleno de niños, porque hay niños como locos. Niños y ancianos. Y ancianos. I feel like crying. I also feel like screaming. I cannot believe that I live in an island where people are spending their life, are, are living uh, in a way that it, it, it makes no sense to me. Way too much poverty. Demasiada pobreza en Puerto Rico. Y no puedo creer que nosotros estemos viviendo así, de verdad. just got out of the meeting with the mayor. I had no idea I could record, but I didn't, out of respect. And I had no idea that I got a pastor with me. That guy right there. It's a pastor See, from Virginia, right? Uh, yes, Virginia, hello. hello. So he's a pastor. Now I know I'm truly in God's hands, so. <laughs> and this is the team. I haven't properly introduced you to Lisandra, Jessica, forgot his name. Mike. Mark and I got the uh, Agustinus right there. He's just taking a picture from like Adia. So now we're going to visit. Uh, where are we going now, right now? We're gonna go to the countryside of the island because I have taken you to the beautiful the parts, urban, urban area of Colorado. Yeah. See the, the towns? The right they have a lot of like little hills. It's not high hills, but then it's hard to get to. It was it was amazing over here. The first few weeks or months of the so yeah. yeah I know people that spend three days just cutting down trees to get out of the house my brother-in-law was one of them so. well, you see my community that was a perfect place that community all the trees were down so this is one of the houses uh, right here the lady inside the house t tells me that she lives here but she sleeps in somebody else's house so this is one of the houses we are going to help. As you can see, that's the tarp from FEMA. And they don't have any energy and we are going to work on that also. So we identify a lot of cases that we're going to help. And that's why I need you guys. I need you on this. I need the uh, materials. I need the donations and everything that can possibly get our hands on. Because this is just one day trying to find out what is that we need. Uh, so yeah, this is one of the houses, just right there. Ah, yeah, por ahí viene. Mira. Sí, él es bravo. Así es chiquito. Bravo. Mira, mira, mira. He wants the, the chicken. Ahí 